We're almost to the end of the meal. We're, up, we're almost to the, to the smokestack. Uh, oh, we made it. We found, we're going to line on the road now pretty soon. But we're gonna, oh, somebody's down right there. Who? Somebody's down right yeah, there. Yeah, somebody's down. Just go there. We cannot do nothing for her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, bro. Just go there. Just go. Oh. We cannot do nothing for her. What the fuck, dude? Let's and go. the fact that no, he had been no, faced with no. many difficulties oh these last oh, days, oh, oh, climate change, increased evil, oh, and rumors of war. Oh, it is no coincidence that the Lord Jesus himself had already said, You have heard of wars and rumors of wars, but do not be afraid. Such things must take place, but the end is not yet. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom, against kingdom, against kingdom and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this will be the beginning of pains. After the beginning of the pains, Jesus said that the great tribulation will happen. This will be the most difficult period in human history, which will last seven years. Three and a half years of false peace, and the last three and a half years will be days of much suffering, such as there has been since God created the world. And if I tell you that it's possible to have an idea of when the Great Tribulation will happen, it's just by looking at the prophecies of the Bible. What if I tell you that we can be closer than we think, but take it easy, because this word is not meant to make you anxious with fear. I just want to warn you that Jesus is very close to returning and that we must seek his kingdom above all things. And I'm sure you'll be impressed by the power of God's word. But before we start, I want to ask, please, that you subscribe here to my channel. All you have to do is click on the button below this video, subscribe, and a little bell will appear next to it. It is very important that you activate this bell to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. As I told you, it is possible to predict the time when the Great Tribulation will begin. Of course, there are several ideological currents, but I just want to analyze some biblical texts to draw certain conclusions. Did you know that many lives are lost in the midst of war, especially in regions of the Middle East, where there are several conflicts? Within this scenario of great sadness, we have Israel, which is constantly alert for attacks. And to understand more about the Great Tribulation, we need to first understand Israel's role in God's promises. After Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection, Jerusalem was destroyed by the Roman Empire in A.D. 70, and the people of Israel were scattered throughout the land, exactly fulfilling Ezekiel's prophecy. See what is written, I will make you a ruin, and I will make you contemptible among the nations around you, in the sight of all who pass by you, when I punish you with anger, indignation, and violence. And the Lord spoke in Mark, Chapter 13. Jesus had already prophesied about the destruction of the temple, saying that not one stone would be left on another. Today, historians claim that when Rome destroyed Jerusalem and burned the great temple, soldiers removed all the stones to scrape up the gold that melted and oozed out from between them. Everything was fulfilled exactly as Jesus spoke. So that's the power of God's word in revealing to us what's going to happen. And now you will be impressed with what Christ told his disciples about his second coming and the great tribulation. See what he said. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches are renewed and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. So too, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. This generation will not pass away until all these things happen. Many theologians point out that the fig tree represents Israel, and for it to sprout, it would need to have its territory reconquered, and that happened in 1948, approximately 74 years ago. Today, despite several conflicts, Israel is already a country again, with territory and sovereignty. And when Jesus said that this generation would not pass away until all these things had taken place, he was not referring to the generation of the disciples but rather the generation that would see the fig tree sprout. This was fulfilled in the generation of the year 1948. And to understand this prophecy of Jesus, many people are looking to know how many years lasts a generation. But the important thing is to know how many years someone can live. And for that, 
Let's read what is written in the psalm. The years of our life reach 70 or even 80, if what we value most is tiredness and boredom, because it passes quickly and we fly. Taking this verse into consideration, the average person lives to be 70 or 80 years old. This means that the generation that saw Israel reborn in 1948 could be alive until the year 2028. It is logical that some people will be able to live more than 100 years, but this is rare to happen. So that means the Great Tribulation could start in 20, 2028. I want to make it very clear that I am not saying anything because Jesus himself said that no one knows the day of his return and that day will come like a thief in the night, that is, without warning. But even though Jesus didn't give us dates, he did say that we should pay attention to the signs. And what we have realized is that the days are getting harder and harder. Just look around us and we will see that the world is different. The pandemic is taking a long time to end. Rumors of wars between Russia and the United States, for example, do not stop being published in the main newspapers. People are being persecuted and killed simply for not following a certain religion, for being of another race, culture, or even for having a different political view from their rulers. Natural disasters like earthquakes and floods have been on the rise in recent years, and scientists say the problem is irreversible. Not to mention the project to rebuild the Third Temple, where the Antichrist will settle down, and also the advancement of technology, which was prophesied by Daniel about the end times. I know that there have been many terrible moments in human history, but it is only in this generation that everything seems ready for the Great Tribulation to begin. Today, I will give you an example. In Revelation chapter 11, it is written that during the period of the Great Tribulation, Two witnesses will preach the gospel to the Jews for three and a half years until the Antichrist kills them. Here's how it all goes down. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes out of the abyss will attack them and overcome them and kill them. Their dead bodies will lie on display in the main street of the great city, figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified for three and a Half days, men of all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and not allow them to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will rejoice over them and celebrate, sending gifts to one another, for these two prophets had tormented those who dwell on the earth. Here it is written that all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will see the bodies of the witnesses at the same time in the streets of Jerusalem. This would never have been possible to happen at the time when the Apostle to happen, at the time when the Apostle John had this revelation of the Apocalypse 100 years ago. That would also be impossible, since there was no television. Today, however, each person has their own cell phone, and news on TV reaches even the most remote places in the world in real time. That is, our generation is fully prepared for the prophecies of the Apocalypse to be fulfilled. And I remind you again that the intention of this video is not to cause fear or anxiety. What I want is to alert everyone about the signs that we are seeing every day and that we must be prepared in holiness for the return of Jesus. I see that the Apostle Peter said, Since everything will be dissolved in this way, what kind of people do you need to be? Live in a holy and godly way, waiting for the day of God and hastening its coming. On that day, heaven will be dissolved by fire and the elements will melt by heat. Yet, according to his promise, we look forward to new heavens and a new earth where righteousness dwells. Therefore, while you wait for these things, strive to be found by him in peace, spotless and blameless. Whoever believes in Jesus as Lord and Savior must seek a life of holiness. That is, he must abandon his sins and everything that keeps him away from the Lord. The Bible says that we are saved not by our merits, but by Jesus' sacrifice for our sins. And when we believe in him as Lord and Savior, we are forgiven, saved, and have our names written in the book of life. Amen. Oh, do not wait for the great tribulation to come for you to repent. 
Today is the day for you to repent and make your decision to follow Christ. Don't wait for things to get worse to value the most important things. Your life is very precious and that Jesus hasn't come back yet because he wants more people to come back to him. And for that, answer the Lord's call and you won't need to fear the future. Amen. If you like this message, share it on your social networks and let's spread God's message. And don't forget to subscribe here on my channel and watch the end. I'm waiting for you in the Watch the and I'm waiting for you in the next video, and I ask you to take a look at our place list. God bless you.